For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Wednesday, May 24th, my name is Ian Kelly, and these are the stories we're following at this hour. Vermont Attorney General Charity Clark has sued Michael D. Lansky, LLC, which does business under the name Avid Telecom for allegedly initiating and facilitating billions of illegal robocalls to millions of people in violating the Telephone Consumer Protection Act, the telemarketing sales rule, and other federal and state telemarketing and consumer laws. Avid Telecom sent or transmitted more than 7.5 billion calls to telephone numbers on the National Do Not Call Registry between December of 2018 and January of 2023. Approximately 13 million of those calls were made to numbers in the state of Vermont. Vermont Agriculture Secretary Anson Tebbets says last week's hard freeze will mean significant losses for growers and those who make their living off of fruits and vegetables. The extent of the damage may not be known for several weeks, but early indications are discouraging. The University of Vermont Extension Service is working with farmers and producers across the state to understand the scope of the damage. May is National Foster Care Month. It is a time to acknowledge the role of foster and kinship care providers statewide. In Vermont, more than 1,000 children and youth are currently in foster placement. This year, the state of Vermont is highlighting the need to take a holistic and culturally responsive approach to supporting the mental health needs of those involved with child welfare. This includes the mental health and well-being of children and youth, their caregivers, and of the staff within the many agencies and services involved with the care of children and youth in foster care. Senator Peter Welch is co-sponsoring the Support Our Election Workers Act legislation to bolster the recruitment and retention of election workers. The bill would require the Election Assistance Commission to distribute grants to states to provide increased pay for election workers, including people servicing as poll workers and rather serving as poll workers and election officials. The Election Workers Protection Act establishes grants to states and local governments for poll worker recruitment, training, and retention, as well as grants to improve election worker safety. WTSA Sports. The Celtics live to play another day. Jason Tatum scored 33 points, grabbed 11 rebounds. Boston beat the Miami Heat last night 116-99 to force a Game 5 in Boston on Thursday, tip-off at 8.30. The series right now has Miami leading three games to one. Mike Trout hit a two-run home run to lead the Angels past the Red Sox Tuesday night, 4 to nothing. The teams play again this evening. James Paxton on the mound for the Red Sox. First pitch at 9.35. Aaron Judge continued his hot-hitting ways. He had another home run last night. The Yankees pulled out a win in the 10th inning, beating Baltimore 6-5. Those teams play again this evening. Nestor Cortez on the mound for the Yankees. First pitch is at 7.05. And locally, has heard on your home for Colonel Sports, 99.5 The Beast. In boys' high school baseball action yesterday, Manadnock beat Brattleboro 9-0. For WTSA News. And for Brattleboro Community Television here on this Wednesday, May 24th, have a safe and tremendous rest of your day, everybody. My name is Ian Kelly.